to WICR. Hello and welcome to the Iona Athletics Spotlight interview. I'm your host, Ian Sachs, and today I'm joined by the Director of Game Operations and Facilities, Mr. Tyler Cardinal. Tyler, thank you for coming on the show today. Yep, thanks for having me. Yeah, no, um, definitely, you, you're on game days, you are all over the place. One of the quiet men behind the, sh- the scenes that that make the games go smoothly. So, just tell me, first off, tell me a little bit about what a, a game day is like, what goes into putting to uh, putting on a game and what's your role uh what game are we want to talk about Men, like a men's basketball game say y- you know it, the men's basketball season coming up it, probably one of the one of the bigger uh events for the athletics department might as well start off there and then then maybe a little later get into the differences of between uh, between the different kinds of games um all right well a game a men's basketball game is pretty much an all-day affair um, you know, we get there early in the morning, we set up the gym, um, set up the locker rooms, set up the hallways, you know, basically make sure everything looks good and is ready to go. Um, when the officials get here, we walk them to the locker room, make sure they have drinks. Um, opposing team gets here, we walk them into their locker room, make sure they're all set, give them the codes, um, you know, still stick around to make sure they're going back and forth all right. And, uh, I mean, it's like I said, it's pretty much an all-day affair, especially if we have a TV game. Then we have to deal with the TV people and make sure, you know, their TV truck, you know, shows up. Uh, for a 7 o'clock game, they'll show up, I don't know, sometime in the early morning, 8, 9 o'clock, you know, make sure that their spots are marked off for them. Um, make sure they have power, electric, deal with the different folks and facilities, you know, um, you know, make sure the custodials are there and the bleachers are cleaned and, you know, all the scoreboards are working, you know. Um, yeah, I mean, like I said, it's pretty much an all-day affair. We, For a seven, 7 o'clock game, we're usually there at 8, 9 o'clock, and we don't leave until midnight, TV game, 1 a.m. Wow. Because <laughs> then we got to clean everything up, take it all down, you know, at the end of the game. Right, right, right. So um, h- how does a men's basketball game contrast from a women's basketball game, I- I- in your point of view, or, 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 or is there a difference? I'd say in game there's a difference just because it's um, a little more relaxed due to the crowd of people, you know. Unfortunately, we don't get as many people for a women's game. Um, so the more people, the more stress it adds in terms and different moving moving objects, I suppose, you know. Um, same setup pretty much for a women's game to a men's game, you know. Same thing if they're on TV, it's the same, you know, same issues, same problems. So what's what's your job gonna look like when the ESPN three deal starts and now every game is gonna be on on TV? <laughs> <laughs> Not really sure yet. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna play that by ear as we get there. I I reckon you know. <laughs> uh, t- Tyler, tell me tell me a, a little bit about you, you. You said you get here early in the morning for for a seven o'clock game. What's the build up to the game it how nerve-wracking is it and what's the the most difficult part of it um i guess it gets a little nerve-wracking sometimes if we're you know like this year i have two i have two interns that work for me so this year i have two new ones so you know that first game is is definitely going to be a little nerve-wracking just because they don't know what exactly how to set it up or you know they don't know like all right I could be doing this and they can go and do that. Um, whereas like, you know, the last two years I had two guys that were there for two years. So they pretty much knew, I mean, I could have left for a little while and they would have, you know, been able to keep going. Um, you know, nerve wracking. I mean, just a matter of making sure everything is set up and ready to go. You know, it only is nerve wracking when something breaks. I, I, you know, I suppose, um, you know, like the last two years, you know the scoreboard stops working you know even though it's a brand new scoreboard you know still has glitches and effect you know problems so um and we don't have our usual electrician either so that's going to be a uh, definitely a nerve-wracking thing throughout the season so what happens if something does break or malfunction during a game well i always relied on our electrician <laughs> so uh yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be different 
Um, you know, we had a run through recently, you know, if a backboard breaks, you know, and we're pretty much ready to go if that breaks and replace that. Um, you know, the scoreboard breaks or the scores tables stop working, you know, it's just a matter of trying to go in and trying to fix it myself, I, I suppose, you know. I'm not, you know. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't happen, you know, so. F- fingers crossed that that is yeah. the the motto yeah. for working in the in the athletics department yeah. hoping <laughs> hoping nothing goes wrong uh tyler you do such such a big job of making sure everything go- goes smoothly and, and you really don't get a, a lot of recognition for it uh what would you say is the most rewarding part of your job <laughs> um rewarding just you know I don't know, I guess seeing the athletes after they graduate, you know, and then them coming back and saying, oh, I didn't realize, you know, this or I didn't realize that and thank you and, you know, whatever. Um, and, you know, seeing the athletes grow from freshmen to seniors and, you know, I also love to see that our teams succeed, you know, that's, um, you know, I ran cross country at Iona, so, I, you know, I'm always have a little, I guess, favor, in, you know, in their corner in terms of, you know, but I mean, I really want all of our athletes, like, you know, I love when our teams do well. Like I'm, you know, hopefully watch the men's soccer game today on, you know, ESPN three, and hopefully they can pull out a win. Um, you know, a few years ago we did the whole, you know, for the men's soccer team. Actually, it was a while ago. We, you know, we all didn't shave or whatever. You know, while they're in the playoffs. Um, so you know, like, I guess that's rewarding. Just see the teams, see the teams succeed, and you know, so. Ian Sachs here on the Iona Athletic Spotlight interview, joined today by Tyler Cardinal, who runs the, the game day operations crew for, for the athletics department. And uh, Tyler, w- we talked about what goes into a, a basketball game day. What do you do for, say, a, a soccer home game or a volleyball home game or a, a baseball, softball home game? I mean, they all differ. Um, say softball, you know, we you know set up – the sports information stuff, you know, just the table, chairs, electric. Um, you know, we used to do the fencing. The facilities crew kind of does a bit of the fencing now. Um, that might change again back to us. Um, you know, each year kind of changes. In between game one and game two of a softball game, we reline the field, water it, drag it, you know. Um, sometimes we have the help of a facilities guy, you know. Again, that differs every year. Um you know, men's soccer game is not too bad. Basically just, you know, setting up the f- corner flags, making sure the soccer goals are ready to go, cleaning the field, the benches in a row, um, you know, making it look nice. I guess everything is just making, you know, everything look presentable. Um, and sometimes that could be more of a challenge than not, especially with the soccer field, you know. So, um, and, uh, you know, now that baseball is down at um, City Park, yeah, I always, you know, City Field, City Park. Yep. <laughs> They, um, you know, it's a lot easier now. You know, before it was a nightmare for our baseball coach. You know, instead of coaching, he's sitting there having to drag and line the field, or not, you know, mow the lawn, like, you know, down at um, Salesian. So now that we're at City Field or City Park, excuse me, it's a lot easier. Um, Put up a few signs, tables, um, run electric, you know. Um, Basketball is our hardest sport to set up and take down and. You know, it continues to grow more and more, you know, entities that we have to deal with. Um, not that it's, you know, it's not bad. It's, you know, it's enjoyable, especially when the game starts and you can sit and relax for a few minutes and, you know, hopefully, you know, the teams are good and they're winning and that always makes it more enjoyable. So, you know. That that was a great lead into my next question. A lot of your work, it sounds like, is, is either before the game setting up or, or after the game taking the stuff down. But what, what's what are you doing during the game? Um, <laughs> just making sure that nothing goes wrong, I, I suppose. I reckon um, the student, you know, we have a, we rely heavily on student workers to run our events for us. Um, and Tiffany, who works in the athletic department, Tiffany runs the student workers, and she does a great job of getting them to, you know, getting them to show up and um, work. You know, um, back in the day when I was a student worker, we all wanted to work events. It's just, you know, it was easy. It was, you know, we got twice as many hours for 
you know, the hours that we were actually there. Um, and, uh, you know, now it's, it's a little more difficult getting them to show up. So Tiffany does a great job at that. And, um, yeah, during the game is, you know, at least during a men's basketball game and a women's basketball game, it just gives you a second. You know, we've been on our feet all day and we're going to be on our feet after the game. So it's kind of a, a minute to sit down and hope that nothing goes wrong. And, you know, if it does, then you're ready to go and ready to, mm. to clean up whatever or fix whatever mess needs to be, you know, to be dealt with. So. Uh now, of course, in addition to working game days and, and uh, making sure that everything's good to go for the games, you're also here around the clock. You, you have a, a, a regular, you know, so to speak, a don't want to use this term, but a, a, a typical nine to five job. What do you do on non game days? What what's what what ke- what keeps Tyler Cardinal busy on non game days? <laughs> well, we do all the uh, laundry for the athletes, so that is nonstop, around the clock. You know, constantly doing laundry. Um, every athlete gets their athletic laundry clothes washed and dried. Um, that, and then we're also in charge of the athletic facilities, making sure that everything is up kept and. You know, lots of things we won't do ourselves. If there's a light bulb out, you know, facilities department will change it. Um, you know, but sm- some of the smaller things we can do on our own and fix. You know, if a rim breaks, we can fix it. The net breaks, we can fix it. You know, um, depending on what it is. And then, you know, obviously dealing with the facilities department to make sure everything is going smoothly. Um, and like I said, the laundry is the biggest, uh, the biggest thing. And then we also have, you know, projects that are going on. You know, we put new carpet in the building and redid the bathrooms and we're getting storage units put in soon. So dealing with the vendors on that and, you know, painting and whatever else. So how many how many laundry machine units do you have in the athletics department? <laughs> we, have, we have two front loader washers and two um, heavy duty dryers. So. Um, you know, go to a laundry mat and look at your two biggest washers and your two biggest dryers, and that's what we have um, in the office. So, how many how many loads a, a day in a typical day would you say that you guys do? Um, I'd say about twenty. Wow. You know. Wow. So now, for for each team, I, I know team size is very very and and everything, but uh, are you able to to put an, an entire team's say uniforms in one load um y- yes yes and no uh most teams nowadays will take up two you know one team will take up both washers so like you know women's lacrosse we have to you know separate in between each wash um and that's that's true with i guess a lot of the sports now um you know back in the day you used to be able to kind of fit one team in the one one you know one wash one washer one washing machine um now it's kind of you know kind of separate you know the teams have are a little bigger and they have more clothes um you know a team like women's across are also outside in the weather so like they have more gear on you know same thing with our baseball team um you know the indoor sports the swimming and the diving i mean they don't have you know a lot of clothes to wash at all you know it's just really when they go for a lift that's pretty much it so differs I, I i you know i suppose tower how much has or how has the athletics department or or even say your job changed over your course of of time working here well drastically changed when we cut football you know that was a huge difference um football was non-stop um a lot of work went into football you know unfortunately you know i think we needed more staff members around the everything just to support a football team um not that i was for cutting it or against cutting it I, you know i really had no you know i liked having a football team it just was it was definitely a lot of work um i don't think people saw the behind the scenes you know how much everyone struggled to try to cope with a football team um you know especially our football team we had over 100 guys um you know, I'm friends with a lot of them now, you know, a lot of guys that were on the team. Um, you know, it's definitely not great to ever have to cut a sport. Um, but I think if we kept it, we needed more staff, you know, to, just to support them. Like, you know, they, they never really got the, the actual fully full support of the athletic department. Um, 
just because we couldn't we couldn't handle it you know like i know for, you know just speaking from my area like it was you know we struggled a lot so um that changed um you know other than that i mean it's pretty much deal with a lot of the same issues you know <laughs> not, not much you know small things changed i guess um that was really the only big you know difference so M- moving forward now where where do you see you know the the game day operations do you see any i don't want to say groundbreaking changes coming but um you know what what are what are some things that that you have to, looking forward to in the future? Um, I mean, hopefully, if you know, we can ever add on or get a new building or whatever it is. I mean, eventually that would be um, fantastic. You know, to have a new basketball arena or a better one, or you know, obviously the, there's been slight talks about it, but not much. Um, if if that ever happened, that'd be you know that'd be great. Um, you know, small things like the new scoreboard, you know, I guess it's not really small, but, you know, that's that's been great. Um, you know, the scores tables that we have now are definitely better than, you know, old machines that we had. The, they were called Dorna. They were absolutely horrendous. <laughs> so, you know, things like that have been, you know, nice changes. You know, they've added different, different things to work with, but, you know, it's definitely, it's been nice to have new things like that and, the, you know, us you know, to be able to have these, you know, not all the schools in the, the Mac conference at least have what we have. So. Yeah. Well, well, Tyler, a, a, a lot of great stuff here today. Uh, you, you really do. You really do uh, are one of the important guys that, that not a lot of people see, but m- make sure that the, the games and, and everything goes smoothly over in the athletics department. Thank you so much for taking a few minutes today, sitting down with me, and, and, and giving us a, an insight into what it's like working in the game day operations for the athletics department. Again, this is Tyler Cardinal, the director of game day operations and facilities for the Iona Athletics Department. Signing off, I'm Ian Sachs on the Iona Athletics Spotlight Interview. Hi, this is Jason Mott, closer for the 2011 St. Louis.